Um, so last week it was reported that an 11 year old boy in Phoenix um, had to be had to be brought to the intensive care unit um, after being stung by four bees. Um, the report does not say what happened there, but as any 11 year old would probably do is he probably poked it with a stick or threw a rock at it or, or you know, something like that. Shooting as as BBs. BBs at a beehive. At a rust, no, at a rusted car and a colony of African, African. Oh, right. Had taken up residence inside the vehicle. And inadvertently, it seems as though the sound of the pellets hitting the metal made them angry. Yeah. Okay, so never mind. So, I mean, you know, he wasn't doing anything to he didn't antagonize anything. I mean, he was just doing what 11-year-olds do, shooting BB guns at a at a piece of junk. Um, so, yeah, Africanized bees. Apparently, those are a thing. Um, so, he... <laughs> A bit of a mental exercise to to I guess make it through being stung. Um, he imagined that he was Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, and his and in his words said that he used full force power. Additionally, when he was talking to the reporter, he said, "I'm Andrew, but you can call me Vegeta." Now, before you ruin this, sir, I think it's a terrible story. Because kids have heroes, and it's good It's good to see that, <clears throat> you know, kids can watch way too much TV. Kids can play too much video games. Kids can do too much of a number of things. Kids can even play outside too much some of the time. Um, I like to see, I think balance does really well in the, in the lives of children and for kids to have structure and a schedule, that sort of thing. Um, it gets them ready to structure their own lives when they become adults. Um, but it is nice to see something as useless as Dragon Ball Z or any other TV show out there. In the grand scheme of things, it's useless. I'm not saying it's it's a dumb show because I'm a fan of it myself. That it actually had a real world application where this kid was able to imagine something, get a picture of something in his mind, and let that get him through an ordeal like this. So, I'm sure, like, I hope Akira Toriyama like finds out about this because. One of one of his characters was able to, you know, give some someone something to hold on to, even though you might think it's stupid. I never used the word stupid. Yeah. Well, okay. I <laughs> do, however, uh, since he wasn't intentionally trying to antagonize these, I did make a comment before we started uh, recording that, um. If he was throwing rocks at a beehive, um, and he antagonized them, like, then he deserved it. Right. Um, because, and you know, like... Although I don't, I don't, I don't know that 400 bees Africanized, meaning that they're not naturally here. I think these are the bees that are, like, killing off honey. They're pretty serious, um... Which it's, it's sucks. It must really suck to be him, and I'm sure like his parents were scared. However, nature is not something that you just go ahead and mess with, and it's not gonna do something back. It's mm-hmm. like if if you mess an animal's home up, or get anywhere too close to its territory, it's gonna react the only way it knows how to, and that's to some animals. It's to like bite some animals. It's to like make sure it looks big enough to scare you off. Right. Some, like, bees is to just sting the crap out of you. Um, and, you know, it, as I'm speaking as a child who did that a lot when he was a kid. Like, I used to throw rocks at beehives and wasp nests. Like, it's just an adrenaline rush. Like, I know it's hurting me, but I got to come out my mouth. Which is, like, you can't. Um, unless you, like, jump in water. Um, 
Because chances are you're probably gonna you, get stung as a kid. You can, as an adult, outrun them. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, as a, like adults aren't. <laughs> I want to say most adults because of the whole cartridge thing. Most adults know not to like do that, and a lot of adults are actually afraid of like bees or wasps. Um, yeah. But I, like I said before, this like if he threw a rock at it, he deserved it because he was endangering their. That's their home, right? You know, and it. I'm, I'm not saying this is. Because of, I think it's silly, of just the the way that he says it, I find silly, and I'm saying this because it's probably true. Not very popular. Um, he looks more like Napa, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't necessarily know that because you know whether he's unpopular or not. I mean. He's eleven years old. You're thinking. I think you're thinking in the minds of within the mind of like a middle school to high schooler. No, because growing up in the more modern version of school, since I am a lot younger than you are, kids are terrible nowadays. Like they are ruthless, and there are other words that I would use to describe children. Uh, this day and age, they are just, they're no trust me. They're they're not. They're kids are mean. Not all kids. I'm like not all. But, I'm but saying, the like, majority gen- of children are just. They are. You get a mask, really, with kids. They're not going to show you their true colors kids, until you get up close to them. Kids in school, or unless you're a kid, they're kids, same age. Kids in school are human beings which have not learned how to treat other human beings like human beings they don't have empathy no or like they can't sympathize or empathize with people attack you if they feel defenseless and they will it's not even like cutting deep with a knife it's like they will grab the closest giant cloud blade and just to tear you to shreds and if you're another kid it's worse because they believe that if they do that to you they're gonna desert their dominance so they'll go even worse so yeah. just saying that I don't see this kid, just the way that he talks, I don't see him very very popular just because if I were to have done that at his age and the school that I went to, I would have been just eggs. He does have some cred going for him. He was on the news. He was on the news. That is, that he is also did survive deal. 400 bee stings. Right. Which and if he goes around, crazy. If he goes around telling other 11-year-olds, like when they ask him, like, how how did you not how did you not die or how did you not get get harmed? He just says, "I'm Vegeta." Seat note saying that won't help him. There are some eleven year olds that would buy that. Some eleven year olds, very few, but the demographic in schools now is, I honestly I wish that a kid like him could go to a school and be like, "Guess how I survived that bee attack? I just did what Vegeta would do." I wish that like half the school would just be like. That's awesome. I, d- the I don't say the-, the things that I say because I enjoy saying them. I it's more realistic to assume that kids would treat him that way. But the proof is in the pudding. He survived 400 bee stings. He did? Yeah. And the technique that he used, a lot of a lot of the things that like Dragon Ball Z's characters use like are actually... Key like, control? They're things that actually exist. They It's it's not like you're gonna theoretical. be theoretical. It's well, like, like as far as like the energy flow of the body, and it's like, well, well, kind of meditating on something to like block out things, right? Right. Like there That's... are actual monks that are able to do that. Like they can lay on a bed of needles and not feel a thing, right? So like, the I believe that he really did do this. Dubious. I think that he really did just like concentrate really hard and just like try and make it good. And that's how he, like, managed to just not die or be in as much pain as he could have been. Yeah. I don't think that he's making that up. Right. I I do find it humorous, and I I did laugh when he said that. I think it's terrible what happened to him. And I still believe what I said about his social life, but I think it's awesome. But I also think no matter what, he's got, like, a lot more confidence now. (laughs) So he may he may be more you know get to the point where he's just like I don't I don't care what you think of me I survived four hundred bee stings. Yeah, I was like, would you like to deal with that? Yeah. So 
good on you, kid. And I'm happy that something that can very easily be pointed to and say, ah, that has no real world value. Well, check this story out. It does. Yeah. So.